Hello everybody! So today's topic is how do I get my bird to stop screaming? This is a topic that a lot of people are interested in and so I'm gonna try to analyze it for you guys and help you guys out a little bit because they're still gonna scream some but to, to tone it down just to make sure that they're not obnoxious and screaming all day long. So I will go into uh, what makes them scream, how to try to remedy the screaming as you can hear it um, and um, how to make uh, your parrot happy that way he doesn't scream so much. Alrighty, it's early in the morning. That's normal for your birds to be vocal in the morning. So this is Olivia, my African Grey. She usually just talks. And then this is Milo Mai, the lock and cockatoo, who is the loudest. And is the one that will scream. And then we have Ciro here. He is my scarlet macaw. And sometimes he just chimes in. <laughs> so first I'm gonna go over the reasons why. Why does your parrot scream? So there's many reasons, obviously. It could be a learned behavior from the owner that had them before. Now, if it's a rescue bird like I have, I have rescue birds, so it's gonna be much more difficult for me to get rid of the screaming. It's a learned behavior from the owners. Um, if they scream and you go, and even if it's not a positive thing, if it's a negative thing, even if you say, stop it, be quiet, and you slam the door or something, that is still an attention that they got and they want that. So the first thing first, what you have to learn is when your bird screams, you must ignore it. I know, it's hard, especially with a Malacca and Cockatoo, which is one of the loudest birds. You have to ignore it. And what you should do, have to do, is that you have to wait at least 10 seconds before you go into the room. Now, that is important because if you wait for 10 seconds and then go in the room, they're learning that if I'm quiet, I'm getting rewarded and you, I'm getting the attention that I want. So during the day, you need to go into the, into the bird room or wherever where your bird is and reward him for being quiet, not the opposite, uh, punish him for being loud because they don't know the difference between punishment and award. So they're just thinking, I got some attention, whether it's good or bad. So that is one of the most important things for you to remember. Okay, so first we're gonna try to analyze why. Why is he screaming? So there could be obviously many reasons. Uh, it could be that he's bored. It could be that he's hurt, obviously. There could be something wrong with him. Most likely they usually get quiet when they hurt. So you have to be careful with that. It could be that he didn't sleep enough. He is just in a bad mood. That happens. Does he have um, an outlet uh, for his aggression that he can have? Uh, like, for example, can he, does he have something to chew on, like wood, uh, something to ring a bell or tug on or something? Because um, he's got excess energy that he's probably got to get rid of. Are you giving your bird enough outside time? That's also very important. They want outside. They don't want to be in a cage all day. So you need to at least, I mean, this is the bare minimum, two to three hours a day that they need to be going outside, getting pets and attention. Um, if that's not something you can give your bird, you might want to reconsider getting a different kind of pet because this is very important, at least two to three hours. Some birds don't like cuddles, but most birds do. And you're going to have to learn what kind of cuddle your bird likes. Some of them just like head scratches. Some of them like to be held and, you know, or sit on your shoulder. Um, that's something you're going to have to find out. But that's another thing why they might be screaming because they want that kind of attention because they're flock animals. They want to be together with their flock and they don't want to be by themselves. So they're prey animals too. So they feel much safer when they're with you, with their flock. And so they want to be with you. All right, now we're going to move on to solutions. What can I do? So my bird doesn't scream. First, remember, don't reward the screaming. Re reward the silence. Okay, so re you reward when they are quiet. The reward can be a toy, the reward can be a, a nut or a, a couple seeds or a piece of fruit, whatever they like best. So that is something you can reward them with. Um, you can reward them with a little bit of outside time or shoulder time. So when they're quiet, like I said, for at least 10 seconds, you can go, go into the room, grab them, and cuddle them real quick and then put them back if you have to, otherwise you take keep them out. So there's a couple things that you can do if you're a brand new 
owner of a rescued bird, for example, and um, you are trying to at least get the, the screaming down to a bare minimum, like my birds, like I guess they, they scream, yes, but it's normal. I mean, those are parrots, they're parrots, they have voices, they're gonna use their voices, but it's not a persistent, constant scream all day long. Like sometimes I hear people, a lot of people tell me that their bird just screams all day long. So they self-soothe, they calm down because I, I have to ignore it, you ignore it. And when they get quiet, that's when you go into the room. But there's many different things you can do. Obviously, you make sure that your animal has enough toys in their cage. If they have enough toys, they're busy, they are not bored and they don't scream. So, um, you know, I would say an average of three to four toys per bird is a good amount of toys. Um, usually what I have is just a big bucket of what, you know, whatchamacallits, um, put in a bucket and then they just r wrestle through it. I make sure that my birds get lots of sleep. My birds get at least 12 hours of sleep. So I usually close the room around seven at night and they op I open it back at seven in the morning. That keeps them equal, you know, even level-headed, rested and in a good mood. If they don't get enough sleep, they tend to be agitated and scream. So you have to make sure that your bird gets at least 12 hours of sleep, at least solid sleep, which means dark, really dark. So not uh, in a living room where the TV is next to it and, they, and you're watching TV until midnight and the TV is just, the, the light is bothering them. So they, they'll be resting, but they won't be able to sleep sleep until you go to bed and turn everything off. Okay, and then, so birds also tend to scream a lot less if you give them plenty of outside time. Outside time, I mean outside of the cage. This could be on a stand, like I have, I'll show you. Or this could be um, on you, uh, just when you are just walking around doing your chores, um, which I'll show you. Hello. 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 I, did, I like to take Zero on a quick walk when he's a little bit agitated. And uh, so then the surrounding, um, the unfamiliar surrounding calms him down too. So that's a good way to do it. Yeah. Wah. Wah, 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 wah. Yes, because some, some birds are uh, very cage protective, so they might um, get real screamy when it comes to, you know, being by their cages. But if you take them away from their cage, then they calm down. <coughs> yeah. And it could be even outside. Outside, if, if you have an aviary like I do, and um, let them just be outside for a while, and your bird is going to be so much happier because um, it did something. It wasn't bored. It, you know, I actually got to see something. Okay, now I'm letting my guys out. That's where they were screaming. Zero is already under the cage. I still got to clean the cages. It's early in the morning. Hi, Zero. Yeah. Hi, Zero. Zero. Okay, you want to come outside? Uh, come on, guys. <laughs> want to come, come out? Come uh, on. Come on. Uh, <laughs> yes. What you guys doing? Uh, hmm? You coming? Uh, yeah, they know where they're going. <laughs> And if your bird is into it, then you can stop the screaming by giving your bird lots of cuddles. Some birds really love snuggles. Now this is Milo, my Moroccan cockatoo, and he just loves snuggles. And that's my African grey. She likes snuggles too. But he likes, loves, loves, loves snuggles. Mm. Uh, but you only reward the, the, with cuddles when you are, when they are not screaming, right? So only when not screaming, you give cuddles, otherwise, you don't pick them up when they're screaming. Another very important thing is that if you get frustrated with your bird because they're screaming, which I can understand, but do not scream back. If you scream at them, they're just gonna get louder. It's not gonna help. The best thing for you to do is talk in a very calm voice. You say, oh, I understand. Oh, what is going on? Honey, dear, whatever you wanna, you, you can make up uh, fantasy words for all I care, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you don't wanna like talk, talk. But you just talk in a calm voice and that calms down your bird too. But if you're screaming and you're like rattling their cage and you're like, you know, that's just gonna make them scream more. So that's not helping at all. Screaming at your bird is never gonna help, ever. And unfortunately, I mean, I see a lot of videos where the birds cuss, which to me most likely means that they were screamed at. 
So also another thing I do is when I leave the house, for example, I put on calming music for my birds. Um, that could, this could be um, opera or it could be just like elevator music or it could just be a radio station. Um, just, and there's actually, there's, um, if, you, if you say, you know, to your whatever device you have, play calming music, they come up with their own station. It's, it's really amazing what technology can do nowadays. So um, I play calming music to them. If they get really loud, even when I'm at home, sometimes I'll just turn on the calming music and it helps. It's really good. All right, another thing you can do is you can give your bird some chamomile tea. Um, obviously not hot. You make sure it's, it's cooled down for them to drink. And I usually do that in the morning when they're specially riled up. Uh, again, it's early in the morning for, for them, so they're just like, they're confused why I'm not taking them out and they're trying to see if I'll take them out faster by screaming. That's why they're screaming, mine are screaming. Now, if your bird, of course, is, is exceedingly screaming all the time, obviously go check on the bird. <laughs> you want to make sure he's not stuck with his foot somewhere or he's got his wing broke or something. Obviously, you want to check on your bird. It, I'm talking, this is not a one-time thing. This is like uh, over months and months and maybe years, this bird is just screaming and screaming and won't stop all day long. They're screaming and they're just, you gotta, it's, these are techniques that you have to teach yourself and teach the bird to calm themselves and calm yourself. <laughs> also, you wanna make sure that your bird has a large enough enclosure, I mean, a big enough cage. If they're in a really teeny tiny cage, where they can't even spread their wings and stretch and feel feel comfortable, then that's not good. You also don't want them to be in a too big of a cage. I mean, that because then they don't feel too so safe either. That's it's kind of a, a healthy balance. You have like a medium size, like according to the bird. I have a macaw, so his cage has to be huge because he has to be able to spread his wings and be able to exercise his wings and still be okay in the cage. That is usually the guideline that I think is a good guideline for birds, how big the cage should be. Enough outside time, even if it's on top of the cage, or like I have here, I have ropes that they can uh, swing around on and climb around on. If it's winter time, you can't go outside with them. So this is the size of cages that I have. And as you can see, there's like, there's like three to four toys for each bird in each cage. Um, not too many, not too little. And so this is uh, African, my African gray um, cage. It's still morning, I have to clean it. This is my uh, cockatoo's cage, and then, th and then this is my um, macaw's cage. It's big. Eat good food, lots of fruits and vegetables in the morning, that's what I do. And then in the afternoon, I give them their pellets and uh, for rewards, they get seeds and nuts and other things. Um, but in the morning, I get, they get a big bowl of fruits and vegetables. That's very important for, for them to feel good and be healthy, and then they don't scream either. Um, and Another thing you can do is kind of like with biting, if they are on the, let's say if they're, if they're on your stand or tree uh, and they are screaming, what you can do is you can take them and put them away somewhere where they don't want to be for a, just a moment, kind of like a quick timeout. So you can put them in the cage real quick and say no screaming and put them away for two or three minutes and then uh, take them back and put them back on the stand or do something fun with them if they have stopped screaming. Always, always only if they have stopped screaming. Like my birds just now stopped screaming. So this is where I, when I would have to go in and reward them for being quiet uh, and let them out or do whatever. But right now I'm recording this video and they are just confused why am I not letting them out early in the morning. <laughs> all right, I hope all these uh, tips uh, helped you a little bit. Um, if you try to implement just some of them, you will see a quick improvement in the screaming of your bird. Uh, I promise uh, you have to follow through though. It's just like parenting. You have to follow through. You can't let it slide. You have to do it consistently. Uh, do not attend to them when they're screaming. Make sure they're not sick or, or hurt any in any way um, or fighting. If you have two birds in one cage and they're fighting, that's why they're screaming. But make sure that you only attend to them when they're quiet and at least 10 seconds. I know I've said it a few times, but at least 10 seconds is better even if longer. But if you're just starting with the training, then 10 seconds is sufficient. You pop in real quick, oh, this is good, it's a good boy, and you give him a little treat or something, and then you leave. And then when they scream again, you just uh, ignore it, and then they stop. That's when you go back in, and then you reward them for being quiet. You don't reward them for being loud. 
All right, I hope you liked all my tips. If you did, please like, please hit that notification bell and please subscribe. You're my friend now. <laughs> See you in my next video. Bye.